So if you are not caught up, this is a warning. There are spoilers ahead. I've accepted it already. <laughs> okay, our next guest is Berto Colon, who plays Kingpin Lorenzo Tejada. Uh -huh. And before we talk to him, we have to talk about what went down in the latest episode. All right, here it is. Without further ado, take a look. I wasn't going to stand for what that man did to my family, to our life. I thought I was shooting him. But it was Zeke. Zeke. I never meant to hurt you, son. It was a accident. Accident! Uh huh. Huh? Yeah, that's the show, Marisol. Okay, Mary. Yeah, this Shh. is it. She ain't kidding around in the no. show, let me tell you. Uh, so did she forgive him? Mm -mm. Nope. Why would she? She had him killed. Oh. So today we're chatting with Berto <laughs> Colon about that big reveal. Oh my God, this show, I swear to God. All right. Hi. I'm on Hi. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I kind of went somewhere just now. Again, a place that I didn't want to go back to. Well, but I, 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 we hate to be like the mob to drag you back yeah, in. Yeah, it's okay. When so you good. see that again, what, what machinations go through your head? Well, I mean, it was just the arc of Lorenzo, where mm. he started and where he ended. It was a very, uh, very specific, uh, nice little arc that he had, the story, yeah. and, and it was just the struggle. And the one thing that comes to mind first with that is just his idea. You know, we, the actor knows when our times are all gonna right. be up, but the person, the character doesn't. And so I just remember always focusing on the idea that this was gonna be redemption, not mm. knowing not knowing what was gonna come next, right? Like, he really thinks he can fix this. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's really aiming at it, at least trying hard. Honesty sometimes doesn't work, but it's yeah. always good to come with the truth, you know? I mean, not, not with Mary J's character, let me tell nope. you. Not nope. with Monet. Not with no. Mo. No. no. <laughs> not with Monet. Did that hurt? That looked like that hurt. <laughs> no, 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 we don't actually, uh, we don't actually get crazy. We don't, we don't make actual physical contact, but, oh. you know, as, as a 220 pound man, and, <laughs> able to withstand punishment. <laughs> I told Mary to go off and I told her, please feel free. The only parameter was, is just I was gonna hold her elbows a little bit, but I, yeah. I, I wanted her, you know, she's Mary J. Blige, you know, we, I wanted to make sure that, uh, that I, I played, that I, that I was there for her, because I know, we only did that twice specifically because she, she was, she was already, she was ready to go. I mean, she, she was up here, so yes. it's like, I don't know how many times you can get up there, yeah. but yeah. I'm telling you, I, I'm shaking right now. That show is just, yeah. mm -hmm. it's, this, this franchise in general, in general the Power yeah. Book series, what does it mean to you to be a part of this? I, I have to tell you before I let you answer, when I first started, when it was Kanan, Tommy, and Ghost, yeah. I don't know if I knew what it was gonna spiral into. Did you know, and, and now what is it like for you to be a part of that? You know, it's crazy, because I had read for a couple of roles in that first series. Oh. I started with Tommy and then kind of downgraded to the, to the guest stars and co-star. Didn't work out that year. So well. the, the straight answer is, is that you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know. And then that's, that's the beauty of this situation, you know? And, and same way as a parallel to my situation, it started out as a co-star guest star role. I had, a, I had even gone into audition with Anthony Hemingway and Mark Rendrich for a different role. Uh, and when I came out, it was kind of, it's my first time that I actually was given a role, my second, that I was actually offered the role of this guy who at the time was married, married to Mary J. Blind. Uh -huh. And he was in jail. Yeah. So I had a little, a little apprehension after coming right, from Orange right, right. and playing in jail guy again, but you know, this was way different. So this evolved, mm -hmm. you know, credit to all, you know, Courtney, 50, yeah. Mark, <clears throat> all the writers. I mean, this is just, you never know where it's gonna go, but you you know you're working on something something special when you're there. Right. What a ride. You know, what oh a ride, God. yeah. You, had, you mentioned Orange is the New Black and you, also you were in prison. Yeah, and, yeah. And, huh. What a theme. What a, what a, what a what theme. A, <laughs> For us, right? For me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you play a good convict. Where, yeah. we, we talked a little bit backstage about, you know, you're from the block, you worked with the homie Adele Morales. I love seeing my, yeah. my, my neighbors, my compas come up through the business. Yeah, the work ethic of growing up in a place like the Bronx, right? I mean, all credit be to our parents, of course, and instilling that work ethic in us, but you know, we grind. We just, we know mm. how to grind. And the city, you know, New York City in general, I think one of the things you understand when you dive into this work as a young actor here in New York City is that you're gonna, you're gonna do a lot of off, 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 off Broadway. <laughs> you're gonna do a That's lot a good of, way to put it. you know, you're gonna do a lot of theater. You're gonna study with a few different people. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna 
maybe do an NYU film here and there. Mm. You're gonna do. You're gonna go through a lot. You know, this is not a. It's not a day. It's not a night to day success story. Although there are, and no hate, no no hating on that. But it takes time. Yeah. And it takes a grind. So. Before she asks you, mm. you know, you guys are from the same yeah. part of the the five boroughs. So sure. Yankees or Mets. I worked at Yankee Stadium, so I'm a little bit biased at the old Yankee Stadium. Okay. Oh, oh, but, however, however, uh -oh. however, Hold on, a however, however, I never really quite understood that whole dilemma of like they're both New York teams. Cheer for both. You know well, what I mean? Cheer for both. I love this so, answer. You know, also, I mean, when was the last time a New yeah. York team won a championship? Yeah. So can we? Yeah, yeah. Well, 1986 <laughs> for the Mets. I know that just from working with you. I was I was still in there in '96 when that whole new dynasty the began with, with Derek the emerging dynasty. And, and Tino and, and all those guys. Tino yeah. and Posada, who, who looks great by the way. Yeah, yeah. 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 I saw a yeah. photo so, of him. But yeah, you know that uh, that was you that's love, me, Bronx. Any other favorite spots in New York City? I'm a I'm a big uh, I'm a big eater, so I have okay. a few. I knew we liked you. A few All different right. uh, a few different restaurants in the city. Do you want to shot eateries? Them? No, they have to give me money first. Oh, smart oh, man! No, that's right. <laughs> so he was telling us he feels like this this segment. He is brought like a an notebook. Ex, is it like an exit? Yeah, interview? you know the, the the whole arc for this. Uh, I just grateful and thankful to have been kind of given life to this character because it actually you know he he was he was very pivotal in the yeah. story and. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity. It's a life-changing opportunity, you know. And so I want to just be sure to give credit to Courtney, Fifty, and Mark, mm. and Dorothy, and Mark, and Shayna, and Monica, and Greer, and Gabriella, and Vlad, and of course all my writers, you know, Lacey, Andre, Jeffrey, Germain, Julie, Julianne, Randy, Kevin, and Chris, and the directors who kind of play such a pivotal po uh, yeah. pivotal role mm -hmm. in this. Um, you show up to set kind of thinking you know what you're going to yeah. do, and it's always good to collaborate and bounce back. Okay. Amen. And some of those names are Anthony Hemingway, Eve Rivera, Hernan Otonio, Stuart Chill, Rob Hardy, Ruben Garcia, and Gary McLeod. And, of course, my cast, Mary Jane. Mm. Method, Mary Jane. Woody, Lavelle, and Latoya, who I love dearly, dearly. And, uh, you know, it's, just, it's a ride that it's a bittersweet situation for me. It's ending, but, you know... Um, it is called Ghost. Well, what's... It yeah, is but, called Ghost. <laughs> Amen. There you go. How poetic. And this yeah. is not the end No. Of it. What's yeah. next no, for No, no. So right now, I've been kind of lucky and, and as for an actor. This is kind of like the best situation. You kind of transition to something new there you go. right away. And I'm, I'm on the new series of The Penguin with uh, Colin Farrell and oh. Krista Milioti, Michael Kelly. Okay. Getting to work... <laughs> listen, listen to this. <laughs> because serendipity is in the air. Getting to work with Vlad Savetko again, who was okay. also a writer producer yeah, in, yeah. In, in on Ghost, and uh, Scott Cohen, who played uh, uh, Congressman Sweeney mm -hmm. on Ghost, mm -hmm. and he's on this as well, doing a great job. And then working with an old friend of mine, James. Uh, James, we love James we... Matteo. My bad. There boy, you go. There's a lot of names. In my Listen, head. He, he just filed off a whole yeah, list no, of names. Yeah, no, James and I went to high school together in Lehman. And Lehman, shout out to Lehman. Please. Shout out to Lehman High School, and he's he's also on this. So you know, this world. The world the, is too small. It's a good Teams sign when you're starting to re so have small. repeat offenders yeah. around you. So it's a, it's a great place to be. Oh, we love this for you. Mm -hmm. We love that you came to visit did us. Did I mention that the penguin is Colin Farrell? Did yes. I say that already? You did. Oh, please. You did, you did. It's scary. Yeah. Please come back when you we'll to talk about we'll your next Open show door. and your next opportunities. Yeah, thank you. I really you. appreciate this, guys. Thank you for the platform. Yeah, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Amazing. Mm, I love yeah. it. And you can watch Power Book 2 Ghost on Stars. New episodes drop every Friday.